Hey, welcome to Level Up. My name is Martina and I am an MS Office trainer. In this video, I will show you additional hyperlink tricks and how to prepare interactive file for viewers. I'm using the same file we had in last video. If you didn't see it, please click on the link below to get some basic information about hyperlinks. Today, we will create a button that would generate an email ready to send. On the last slide, we have already pre-made contact information. Let's say that I would want to attach hyperlink to that icon, so people could contact me with just one click. Let's right-click on the icon and select hyperlink. You can also press Ctrl-K, add screen tip, click on the button and type mail us. OK, now on the left side, we will select email address. In first window, type the email address. I'll type mine. Great. Then the subject. It's optional, of course, but I think it will help people save some time. I'll type level up presentation. Now let's test it out. Click on the reading view and I'll click on the icon. Great! PowerPoint created an email with the topic and our email in it. I'll close it now. However, as you know, if you would click anywhere else than the link, we would go to the next slide, maybe by mistake. To control that better, we have to change some settings in the slideshow. Let's go to the slideshow tab and click on set up slideshow button. In this window, we can set up which slides would be visible during the slideshow. And there are many other options, but this time we will focus on the type of the show. I will select Browse at a kiosk, full screen. Kiosk mode only allows navigation via cursor. If a click misses the hyperlink, nothing will happen. And that's what we want. But just remember, if you don't have any link on the slide, you will not be able to move forward or go backwards. Doing so, we will also save our PowerPoint as PowerPoint Slideshow, so it starts in presentation mode automatically. This gives us the possibility to help other people experience the presentation the way we planned. Go to the File, Save As, and change the format to PowerPoint Slideshow. Save. Great! Let's test it out. I will open the file in the Slideshow, and I will just click on the first link and it worked. And then let's click anywhere else. Nice, nothing happened. So in that case, it's good. It worked like we planned. There is one more thing that I would show you that you can achieve with hyperlinks. Sometimes when you have too much on the slide, you may want to move some of that data to appendix. You can create a link to jump to that slide, but how to get back to where you were without creating any additional buttons? When you create a link, you will see that the option Show and Return is not available. Let me show you the way to make it work. First, we have to create individual slideshow. May sound complicated, but it's not that hard. Go to the Slideshow tab, then click on Custom Slideshow and Custom Shows. In this video, we will have all created shows, but first we have to create some. So let's click on the New button and then I will select the slide number that I want to have in it and click Add. I will name it the same way as my slide so it will be easier for me to find in the future. Ok, this part is done. Now we have to create a hyperlink. I will go to the slide with the ready shape, select it and press Ctrl K to add hyperlink. Then select Place in this document and on the very bottom you will see category Custom Shows. And here it is. Select and OK. Let's check if it works. As you can see, the destination slide is at the end. So usually after that one would be the end of presentation. What we wanted to achieve is to go back to the slide with the link to continue with the rest of the slides. I'll open the reading view and click on the object. Great! It took us to the slide with more details and I will click again. Perfect! We're back at the main slide. One more thing, if you don't want the slide to be visible at the end of the show, right-click on it here on the left pane and select Hide. With this change, it will be visible only if you trigger the button. 
You can create a lot of custom shows to move faster and better through the file. As you can see, hyperlinks are very powerful, and this is just the beginning of how you can use them. And I would encourage you to play with it a little bit. If you have any ideas, let us know. We would try to create a video about it. And don't forget to subscribe. See you next week.